I know I'm saying it right. Mache? Machi. Machi? Machi, yes, perfect, almost perfect. And Pawelski. Pawelczyk. Uh, that was not always perfect. Yeah, I can't and you are from? From Poland. And hence the reason for me not being able to say your name. However, your English seems to be very good. Oh, thank you very much. Because uh, everybody speaks English in Malta. Yes. In Poland, not everybody, so... No, definitely yeah. not. But I, I know waited. something. Dzień dobry. Oh, of course. You that's, see? that's also perfect. You see? It's I, even I, better I... than my name. You pronunciate it better yeah, than my that, name. That's yeah, that's good. Yeah. Dzień dobry means good morning. Good morning. But good that's morning. all Unfortunately, I know. Unfortunately, I don't know how it Actually, is. Actually, I know dobre. another four or five words, but I cannot say them on TV. As we always do when we learn the language, we always when we start knowing someone, they always teach us these words, you know? Of course, yeah. I had yeah. a friend who's Polish. I, that's why. So, you are here for a very special occasion. Because yes. you have been working on this. I just saw the trailer and I must tell you, I was really impressed. It, oh. made me, it made me really go into my own shell and think. And I think that's what you wanted to happen. How did you come up with this idea? You know, because we, uh, we had friends from Korea uh, since 2019. We, we were trying to come up with an idea what to do together, uh, what subject to find uh, for co-production. And if you want to find a subject for co-production between two, something, a common point, common point. So uh, this is what we came up with, Chopin, because Chopin music is a classical piano composer, composer as we, oh, everybody knows that. Exactly. Uh, it's very famous in Korea, so they're really uh, keen on Chopin, Koreans, and they learn playing Chopin at school. So that's the idea that came up, um, that I came up with to make a film about Chopin. And this is this was this common point between Poland and Korea. But you such didn't just di- make a film cultures. about Chopin. You made a film about the realities of life. Let me tell you what <laughs> we do. Let's watch the trailer together. Because then people can understand us better why we're talking about this perspective. And on our trailer, I see Dwar Lidea, Kif Abdul Musica, Ta Chopin, Fdan El Kas, Kif Atiyadinna, Missy Dantana, U. Creau Cuscienza. Honorable. Music is such a powerful tool. You can heal yourself with music. Music can transform things, and we need this transformation. Music can bring peace. It's a good side of humanity. I felt very special knowing that I could go to Lebanon and the fact that over a million Syrian refugees reside here. I'm living uh, one kilometer from the explosion. I'm a privilege, I'm still alive. When you bring light to any dark place, like Auschwitz, things become visible. My ojciec był przywieziony na tę rampę i tutaj zginął. Prisoners here in Auschwitz, if they couldn't hum the song, they thought it in their head. And it was sort of the same thing with, with my ancestors in the field. One day, a portal will disappear. That was it. What is the feedback up to now? I, I believe it's just literally just being seen in Poland, right, first? Yes, it uh, is in the cinemas, in the theatrical distribution in Poland. 
And now we got uh, support from the Polish uh, National Foundation for uh, distributing and screening it in 10 different countries of the world. So I chose Malta because uh, Malta, uh, amongst others, because there's Japan, there's but USA. Malta is the first one. Also. Malta is the first one. Yeah? It starts this uh, international journey of, of this film. Why Malta? I'm curious. Uh, you know, because I have something in common with Malta. I'm here, I've been here like seven, eight times. Okay. Uh, actually, I bought a flat here. As in well. Bujiba, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so I, we make you feel comfortable. Yeah, you do, you do. It's a tiny country, but I feel very comfortable here. It's a unique and exceptional country. Uh, that's why I think I chose it for like, I wouldn't call it second home, but uh, it's, I like, I like to be here, you know? Uh, so that's why maybe the screening is happening here um, in Malta. Tell me more about the movies, because when I, when I was watching the trailer, how long is it as a movie and all? Because the trailer is only a couple of minutes long. Yeah, the movie is one hour, exactly, uh, 16 minutes. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's a documentary movie about three pianists playing in the darkest and the most sinister uh, places in the world. So it's uh, the first pianist, Leszek Morzer, is playing uh, by the death camp, Auschwitz death camp, where uh, more than one million people were murdered by, by Nazi Germans. Uh, the second um, uh, pianist, uh, Marek Fares Basmarji, uh, is half Syrian, half Polish, and he's playing in Beirut um, for his Syrian countrymates. But he couldn't play in Syria because of the war no, there, so okay. he went to uh, Beirut to, to play for his countrymates because there, there are uh, around one million refugees in Beirut, in uh, the whole uh, Lebanon. Uh, and in Leb Lebanon, there, is, uh, there are seven million people, so uh, they um, took in, yeah, uh, one million people being su such a small country. Of course. And uh, back then, when we, when we were shooting this movie, we wouldn't have ever thought that something could, like that could happen to our country because we've got war just uh, right. you know, across the border. And we've got like three million, four million refugees from Ukraine right now. So we are uh, 38, there's 38 million uh, Polish people and we have around six, uh, three or four million refugees from Ukraine. Oh, so okay. it's, when it comes to the proportion, proportions, it's similar to okay. what... When you were in these yeah. countries yourself, obviously filming and preparing and organizing the whole things, because it's not something easy to, to obviously uh, set up a, a piano and start, God knows how many permissions and, yeah, and yeah. stuff you had to get. How did it affect you personally when you were seeing the hardships of these people? Yeah, because uh, in audience, the, uh, the people listening to these concerts were people who uh, had something in common and uh, with, with these dark histories uh, of, uh, you know, of what's happened uh, in the past. So I saw emotions. I saw that the music, the Chopin music touched them deeply. Some of them were crying and everything um, is shown in this movie at the end because this movie is a it's um, telling the story of, of the journey of these pianists, uh, the journey that they had to take to play at the end. So the concert, so the very concert is just five minutes at the end and the movie is about their journey. Um, but the, the concert is like something, um, it's a reward reward for, for watching. You watch this and you wait for what going? will happen uh, to see how music can heal and how music can affect such dark places, you know, uh, the most dark, the darkest places in, in the history of uh, humankind, I think. Of course. And, and that, is, that is how you touch the people's hearts, because obviously when you see the emotions and when you see, see somehow that people just let go, just listening to the music and they felt they could let go of their emotions, it's incredible. Yeah, because there were people, for example, there was um, uh, one man whose father died exactly uh, there by uh, the Auschwitz uh, death camp. Uh, and the concert is um, at the Judenrampe, at the place where there was selection uh, of Jews um, and Romani people and uh, other nations. And one were selected to go to work and the others were selected to go uh, to die.
to gas chamber, Literally, for example. So, so one his, was told to... Yeah, his father was selected to go and, you know, for death. And he is there listening uh, to this performance and he... Uh, I, I won't say what happens. I invite everybody for, for the screen. Me, tell me where we can watch it for a short time. How can we watch this movie? Uh, it's possible to watch tomorrow uh, in Valletta in, at Spazio Creative. Yes, uh, St. James. As, uh, yes, yes, it's yeah, Spazio yeah, Creative. At, it's also St. James Theatre. St. James. Oh, yeah, probably. Yes, yes. Uh, I know it as a Spazio Creative, creative, uh, creative uh, cinema. At 7.30, and I'll be there in per person, uh, also uh, answering questions uh, on a panel, uh, questions and answers uh, panel after the screening. Uh, so there will be representatives of Polish Embassy as well. Uh, as well. And um, the panel will be led by Monika Jaroszynska. She's a Polish actress and singer uh, living in Malta. Okay, that's yeah, so uh, it'll be a great event. Um, and the next screening, another screening, will be uh, on 11th of November. Okay, but well then by then you would have left. Yeah, yeah. There will be no I thank you. I thank you for choosing Malta to screen.